Welcome. My name is Alice, and today we're going to do seated Tai Chi, which was developed by Dr. Lamb. Well, today you're going to need a chair. A folding chair is great. And I want you to show you how to sit in the chair. I want you to sit with your back away from the chair, your feet hip distance apart, and your hands down to the side as you relax your shoulders. So that you can see the position that I'm sitting in, I'm going to turn my chair to the side for a second. My back is away from the back of the chair. I'm sitting up nice and tall with good posture. My feet are hip distance apart, my hands are down to the side, and my shoulders are relaxed. Now, if you tend to bend a little bit, see if you can straighten up, or if your back is so bad, you may sit back all the way in your chair. But for the rest of us, we're gonna sit up towards the front of our chair, and we're gonna sit in a position so that we won't fall out of our chair. Remember our feet are hip distance apart, our shoulders are relaxed, and remember we're doing Tai Chi, so this is not the type of aerobic exercise. It is a smooth, gentle, relaxing part for your mind and your body. You do things at your comfort level. So we're going to begin by the Tai Chi greeting. I want you to raise your right hand Make a slight fist, and this stands for strength. Raise your left hand, put your four fingers together, and that stands for friendship. Move your thumb closer to your hand, and this stands for humility. And when I put it all together, this stands for respect. So this will be the beginning and ending of the session in this manner. We're going to warm up our fingers first. So I want you to stretch your hands out and bring it back into a fist. Fingers out, bring it back into a fist. So I want you to inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay, we're gonna start by warming up our neck. So watch me first. I'm gonna bring my arms up slowly as I inhale. I'm gonna turn my hands so that they're facing me and I'm gonna act as if I'm pushing back my chin. Turn your hands, push away, and let your eye gaze go down with your fingertips so that your chin is on your chest. We're going to come up, turn your hands as if you're pushing your chin back, turn your hands, push away, eye gaze goes down and your chin is on your chest. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Very good. This time when our eye gaze comes up, I want your left palm to face down and your right palm to face you. We're still working on the neck, so the only thing I'm going to turn is my neck. So I want you to turn slowly to the right, about 70%. Come back to center. And turn slowly to your left, about 70%. Come back to center. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. This time, see if you can turn your neck a little bit further as you inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now we're going to warm up our shoulders. So what you're going to do is bring your shoulders up towards your ear, circle around to the front, and bring your arms back down. So we're going to inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now I want you to circle towards the back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Very good. Now let's do a breathing exercise. So we're gonna breathe in, Shoulder, arms are about at shoulder height, and breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Now we're going to warm up our spine. So I'm going to act as if I'm holding a beach ball. And as we begin, our bottom hand comes up and holds up a ceiling, as if it's holding up a ceiling. Then bring your beach ball back down and go the opposite way. So you're going to inhale And exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, This time I'm going to hold my beach ball. I'm going to turn towards my right. And then I'm going to turn my beach ball and turn towards my left. And I'm turning from the hip this time. So you can inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And come back to center and put your arms at your side. This time we're warming up the hip. So what you're going to do is to raise your arms. And as your arms come down, you're going to lift your right foot and then you're going to let it go down and push your ball of your foot into the floor and as your hands come down again you're going to pick up your left foot press the ball of the foot into the floor your inhale exhale Going to inhale, exhale, 
Lift your left foot, push the ball of the foot into the floor. One more time. Very good. Now we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna push down to our left. But this time we're gonna pick up our right foot and we're gonna stretch out that hip and bring it back. Now push down towards the right and pick up the left foot. We're warming up the hip. Now we're going to work on the knees. So I may need for you to make a slight fist. This is a Tai Chi fist. It's not a tight fist. It's a loose fist. And I'm going to put it towards my hips. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my right leg and stretch out my knee so that I'm reaching with the toe and my left arm comes out. Now if you can't get your foot off the floor, just stick out your toe and the opposite arm. But if you can lift it, lift it. This time, I want you to stick out your heel. So your heel is coming out with the opposite arm. If you cannot get your leg up that high, then put your heel on the floor. But if you can lift it, lift it but you're sticking out your heel. Very good. Now let's take our hands and put them on our waist. This time I'm picking up my right leg and I'm gonna to touch down with my heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Now remember we're working our ankles this time, heel, Toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Bring it back, lift up your right foot again. Little toe, big toe. That's in, out, in, out. Come back, go to the opposite side. In, out, that's little toe, big toe in, out, and bring it back. And then I just want you to shake your body out a little bit. Now we're getting ready for the commencement movement and the open and close movement. So watch me first. My feet are still hip distance apart. My posture is up. My shoulders are relaxed. We're moving slowly, smoothly, and gently. Okay, so I'm going to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out, and then I'm going to begin. So watch me first. Watch me again. Shoulders, hands down to your side. Your shoulders are relaxed.
Now there are two things I want to point out to you. The first one is when we're doing the open close, our hands are about our face width and it goes to about our shoulder width, not way out here. So it's about the distance of your face, face and the distance of your shoulders. So when you're doing that, you're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Try this with me. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Now when I'm doing the commencement exercise, what I'm actually doing is raising my hands, I'm flipping my fingertips to the top, and then I'm going to act as if I'm making the letter U. I'm coming down on one side, around, and back up the other side, and my hands go out and back in. So try that much with me. Your hands are down at your side, Bring them up slowly. Fingertips flip towards the top. Start your U. Back and around close to your body without touching your body. Hands out. In. Open. Close. Okay, let's do that much together. Okay, this is commencement, so we're going to take in a deep breath. Breathe out. Begin. Coming up to the top of that U. Flip your fingertips up. Start your U as you come down. Around. Back up. Fingertips out back in, and open, close. Very good. Let's try that one more time before we move on to the next two movements. Hands down at your side, cleansing breath, breathe in, breathe out, begin. Slowly come up. Fingertips up, start your U, and around, back up the opposite side, fingertips out, back in, and open, close. Very good. Now for the next movement. The next movement is called the whip. So I want you to watch me first. I'm ending with the open and close, and now I'm ready for the whip. So my hands are going to come slightly to the left, and then I'm going, and my palms are facing away from me, and then I'm going to open a curtain. My hands are like I'm opening a curtain, but I'm looking at my right fingertips. And then everything comes back to the right. Okay, watch again. I'm in this posi position before I start. Hands come slightly to the left. The palms are facing away from me. I'm opening the curtain as I look at my right fingertips and I bring everything back to the right. Okay, let's see if you can do that with me. Okay, we're starting from this position. Hands come down sli slightly to the right. Your palms are faced away. And then open the curtain and look at your right fingertips and bring everything back to the right. Let's try it one more time. The next movement is called the waving of hands. 
So I'm ending in this position, and I'm only going to move from my right knee to my left knee. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is change hands and turn to my right. Not way over here, I'm just over the knee. I'm going to switch hands and turn back to the right. And I'm going to do this three times. And I'm going to come back to center and I'm going to do an open and a close. Okay, so watch me do, do those two movements and then we're going to do it together. going to come back to center and open close. Okay, let's do that one more time together. Starting here, slightly to your left, curtain, everything to the right, and you're going to wave your hands. Come back to center and open, close. And then our next two movements is doing the same thing, but on the opposite side. So this time we're gonna push down to the right, open up our fingertips in the curtain manner and look at your left fingertips and bring everything back to the left. And then you're gonna wave your hands. and open, close. Very good. Now let's see if we can put all of the movements together. So we're gonna start with our arms down to our side. Let's take two cleansing breaths. So we're gonna breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. and exhale. Begin. Arms up. Fingertips up. We're going to make the U. Hands out. Back in and open, close. Let's do one more open close.
Bring your hand slightly to the left and open the curtain as you look at your right fingertips. Bring everything back to the right. Waving hands. This time, push down to the right. Open the curtain. And everything's back on the left side. Wave hands. Back to center, and three open close. Inhale, exhale. Once more. And one last time. Very good. Now we're going to cool down. I want you to make Tai Chi's fist with your hands and just gently hit your thigh. The other side. Now if you would like, you can bring your foot up off the floor as you hit your thigh. We're trying to bring the oxygen back to the muscles and the tendons. you to tense up and let go. Tense up. Relax. Tense up and relax. We're going to breathe again. So inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And one more time. Put your legs together. Remember, the right hand is a slight fist, which stands for uh, respect. Our fingers are pushed together for friendship, humility, and thank you so much for doing these exercises with me today. Hope to see you again soon. Hey guys, my name is Bake McBride. I am the assistant manager and group fitness director here at MOVE by BJC. And I want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to join us for this session. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can jump on the website at www.movebybjc.org or you can give us a call, 314-286-0525. Thanks again.